all of this AI stuff is running on the chip, isn't it? It's yes. not, this, there's no up and down. That's right. Yeah, it's running on device, and this is one of the things that we're promoting. With our low power, we're able to actually do more on device processing without compromising battery life. So we're here at the Ambic booth. I'm here with Dan Slamak, VP of Architecture, and they've got a ton of demos. So Dan, can you talk us about what you're showing at Embedded World 2024 this year? Absolutely. So uh, part of what we're showing here is uh, a lot of our customer designs that we've gone into. So some of the watch-based products mm -hmm. uh, you're seeing here on display, this is being driven from our Apollo 4 family. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we're driving pretty high resolution displays with these, lots of animation and graphics, so this is being driven from our integrated uh, 2.5D GPU uh, technology. And this is running, all of this is running at very low power, very uh, low voltage, which is based on our technology. Uh, we have other designs here that we have seen customers go into even bigger displays, okay. higher resolution. So we're able to drive not even not just some of the smaller devices like the watch and the bands. We're going into a lot of other uh, patient monitoring devices or even uh, other consumer electronics that need to have a really uh, crisp user interface, snappy graphics, but they don't want to pay the penalty of the power, lack of power efficiency or the cost. And so that's where Ambit comes to save today. Cool. Uh, and then this is one of our energy harvesting uh, kits. So we work with a lot of partner companies to couple our technology with some of their really innovative technologies around ambient light mm -hmm. uh, harvesting. Uh, we do. Uh, we work with companies doing solar, uh, thermal electric. Uh, generation and those kind of things. So one of the value propositions here is that we're able to run using our technology with the really low power because these energy harvesting solutions don't necessarily generate a lot of energy. Yep. And so we want to be able to do some really interesting things on a very low power budget. In comes Ambic to help uh, offset that and make that possible. Excellent. And uh, I see you've also got some uh, products here, end products, which yes. have used Ambic's chipsets to um, to change how they do things. So Absolutely. can you take us through a few of them? Yeah, so we have uh, some of our wearable design mm -hmm. uh, customers that we have gone into. So we're in pretty much most of the wearable products that okay. are out there that are running off of an RTOS-based uh, environment. Um, and so some, these are some of the key designs that we have. But we're not just a wearables company, so we've gotten into, uh, this is a uh, kind of a baby monitor, so this is more for SIDS detection. Okay. And so they need it to be very low power because you put it on your, on your child, you want it to yeah, last, course, you want yeah. it to actually detect if something is wrong. Uh, we have a ring and a stylus uh, um, implementation. Uh, and these are some of the other products that our uh, customers are using. Um, this one is actually for, um, it's a display list, but it's running off of, I believe this is uh, using uh, energy harvesting. Okay. And so it basically runs indefinitely. Um, and then we have some trackers and other things. So we have customers using our technology for even cattle tracking or oh, sheep nice, tracking. Nice. They have these you know, animals that are all over uh, grazing and they have to be able to uh, track their health and make sure they're doing well. Uh, pet trackers, and then of course some more wearable products down there at the bottom. Excellent. So on another section of the stand, we've got uh, the newly released Apollo 510 MCU in action. So uh, what's happening here, Dan? Yeah, so we have uh, one of our engineering boards on the Apollo 510. This is really a reference design that we've put together. Uh, again, it's a wearable-based product, but this is showcasing a couple of the, the new features that are enabled with the 510. One is uh, very high-fidelity audio, okay. so maintaining very low power. So we're able to, with this demo, what we're showing is actually a full telco quality. So we make a phone call to the device, wow. you can talk to the watch. We're doing echo cancellation, noise cancellation. We're running it all on the Cortex M55. So one of the things this is showcasing is that we can do pretty uh, sophisticated DSP processing, and we're also being able to run the display and everything off of the same processor at very low power. Um, and this is a, uh, a heart rate kit, and mm -hmm. so this is taking both the EKG and, and a heart uh, pulse uh, detect. This is actually running an AI model. Okay. Uh, so we're doing this uh, with actually very low utilization of the CPU, and we're doing it at very, very low power. And we just have a demo here where you can actually track your heart rate and your EKG, which has been interesting, seeing the differences in people's heart rates uh, as they come by. 
Oh, and so uh, what's the sensing mechanism here for the um, internal? So you actually have this plate sensor here, okay. and then there's the uh, uh, the, di the LED here that's actually doing uh, looking at through your skin. They're actually oh, okay. taking the heart rate, nice. and so it can kind of determine um, the, the pulse uh, by taking um, measurements uh, using the light diffraction uh, as it uh, captures it back in the device. And this one is, you're touching on both sides, so it's taking a measurement from one finger through your body to oh, the okay. other finger nice. to get an actual EKG. Cool. And um, I think it's probably worth highlighting that uh, all of this AI stuff is running on the chip, isn't it? It's yes. not, there's, there's no up and down. That's right. Yeah, it's running on device, and this is one of the things that we're promoting. With our low power, we're able to actually do more on-device processing without compromising battery life. So that assists with, uh, obviously, use cases where you want that real-time yeah. aspect, but also privacy. So we're not taking the data shipping it to cloud to do the processing. We're doing it on device where it really belongs. Well, for low power processing, high-tech high graphics uh, for many, many applications, look no further than Ambic.